What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Excuse me, I want to focus in on the Carolina Hurricanes re-signing Justin Folk to a six-year deal that'll pay him $29 million, so about $4.9 million per season. I like the signing for both sides. I think it buys, one thing it buys uh, Carolina, two of his unrestricted free agent years uh, in Folk, and I think Justin Folk's only going to get better. He's a 21-year-old uh, defense, which will be 22. Um, on the rise, U.S. Olympian this year. I believe he was the youngest player on Team USA. So, you know, that's obviously a great positive to have. And, um, you know, I, I still think Caroline needs a little more help on the blue line. You know, I like him. I like Andre Sequeira. But I don't think either one of them is, you know, legitimate number one defenseman, at least not yet with Falk. I mean, you know, we shall see. But, um, you know, I'm happy for him. I watched him play for the U.S. development team, you know, forever and a day ago. And, uh, you know, really think he, he was something, and he's turned out to be something. And, you know, I like to see that happen. You know, the, the way he's developed has been awesome. Minus five on a struggling Carolina team. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing to get too worked up over. You know, he's playing a lot of minutes. And, again, you know, I know he's the eighth defenseman for the U.S. at the Olympics. But, you know, to have a young player go over there and get – you know, that experience over there is, is big, and I think, you know, he's come back a more improved player, um, and, you know, if Carolina wants to have a winner going forward, they're going to need, uh, you know, a sturdy blue line, and uh, having Justin Folk in the mix long term uh, is definitely does that, and you look at what Rutherford said in the, the press conference today, it also prevents the, you know, offer sheet from coming in, which I think may have been a subtle dig of the Philadelphia Flyers, because uh, they need defensemen in the worst way possible, and they offer sheeted, you know, Shea Weber. I'm not comparing Fulp to Weber by any means, but, you know, it's 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 a possibility. So, you know, amazing value for a guy that was drafted 37th overall in uh, 2010. You look at it, he played one year at Minnesota Duluth, um, won the national championship that year, and then the next year was, you know, after some games in the minors in the show, and has, has been there to stay. And, you know, his steady progression has been a positive on an otherwise you know, disappointing Carolina Hurricanes team in the last, uh, you know, two and a half seasons. So, again, definitely a good thing having him in the fold. I like the contract for both sides. And if you look at his fellow 2010 draftee, uh, U.S. development team product, and U.S. Olympian Cam Fowler, Anaheim locked him up long term before he, you know, he became big time. And that's paid off, you know, pretty well for Anaheim. And I think it'll be a similar thing with, with Carolina. I'm mean, not saying Folk's going to be, you know, the be all end all next Brian Leach, but. I think he'll be a very, very effective NHL defenseman, and I think a team probably would have committed an offer sheet in him um, at, at over $5 million. You know, with, you know, 22, 21, 22 year old defenseman, uh, don't grow into He actually turned 22 uh, four days ago, so happy belated birthday, Justin. But um, again, like it for both sides. I think it's a positive, and um, you know, it was good to get it out of the way before the offseason came up, and I don't think there was um, you know too much hassle in, in negotiations. I think Carolina wanted Falk to stay around. Falk wanted to stay there, got a deal done. And uh, he'll be a member of the Carolina Hurricanes through 2019-2020. Uh, so, good for him. Anyway, that's our episode of the Power Play with CJ on the uh, Carolina Hurricanes re-signing Justin Folk. See you for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.